There are three things you need to know about bearings. So bearings are always measured from north in a clockwise direction and they're given as three figures. So if you look down here it says 0, 80 degrees, not 80 degrees. So it's always three figures. So even if it's just 80 degrees, we put a zero in front. Um, B is five centimeters away on a bearing of 80 degrees from A. So we need to have a bearing of 80 degrees. So that's measured from north. So if we look at this here, and here, spin it around. So we can measure it from north, from north and 80 degrees. So 80 is here. So if we just mark on 80 degrees there. So we've got 80 degrees and we need five centimeters away. We grab a ruler, um, five centimeters away. So let's try and get it to the right angle. So that should be the right angle and we need five centimeters away. So we'll start there, five centimeters up to five, five is there. And so five centimeters away, 80 degrees. So that means B is here, B's there, missed, there's B five centimeters away, 80 degrees. Measure the bearing of B from A. So it's from A, that means from A, from here, from A. So we can measure that bearing. So we'll grab a ruler and we'll draw this straight line on. So we'll draw that line. may have missed slightly but we'll measure it anyway so we'll grab this um, put it again at the on the north line so we line up zero with the north line up here this is the north line um, could be marked with an N north line and then we're measuring this angle around here so make it easier to read I can yeah so we've got a hundred and five or a hundred and six probably because I've marked it slightly off so a hundred and six degrees so the bearing is a hundred and six degrees and then this one says measure the bearing of B from A so the bearing from A of B. So it's going to be this angle all the way around here. So we'll, again, we'll draw on the straight line first. Okay, so we've got a straight line here. We need to measure the bearing of B from A. So this big angle here. We've only got 180 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure a little angle with our protractor and then we're going to take it away from 360. So what I'm going to do is I'll spin it round. No, I won't. Spin it round. So we're at... Going backwards here. Uh, make it a bit bigger. So we're looking at this inside number now. So it's 90, 97, 98. Well, it could be even, couldn't it? So 90, eight degrees we'll call it so if we say this one here is 98 degrees 
we need to do 360 take away 98. 360 take away 100 is 260, but plus the two back on, so 262 degrees. So we've got 262 degrees, uh, the bearing of B from A. And finally, B is on a bearing of 100 degrees from A. So from A, 100 degrees, that's here. What's the bearing of A from B? So of A from B, that's this angle here. So we don't need to measure anything. This, these are our two north lines. And it could even say not drawn to scale. To scale. I'll put that one on there. So what we use here is with the fact we've got two north lines. So imagine if you walk down this one, walked along and back up, you've turned around exactly 180 degrees. They're called co-interior angles. So that makes this one here 80 degrees because the whole way round is 180. And then this bearing is just 360 take away 80. And 360 take away 80 would be 280 degrees. Take 60 off to get 300 and you've got 20 more. So we've got 280 degrees um, and that's the answer.